Hello and welcome to Memvic Studio. My name is Angoli Ibesoko. If you're coming across me for the first time, thank you for stopping by. I hope you like the contents of my channel and that you will subscribe and join the family. So for the purpose of this video, I have chosen an income of £30,000, which is closer to the medium salary in the UK. So this £30,000 would be the net income. So we've got that here, £30,000. That's what we're working with. So there are a couple of things we need to determine to be able to make this calculation. And one of them is we need to find out what the personal allowance for the 2022-2023 tax year is. And that personal allowance is currently at 12570 So for anyone who is not aware, personal allowance is the money you need to earn above before you actually get taxed. So anything you earn that is within this £12,570 will not get taxed. So which means we need to subtract that from the net income before we can de uh, determine how much of our income would actually be taxed. So there, um, the other thing we need to find out is what tax band this £30,000 is. You can follow this calculation for any income, but I'll mention a few things at the end which you need to bear in mind if you're using any other income. But it's very important you find out what the tax band or tax rate is for your salary. For this £30,000 would look at um, England. So if you're trying to find out your tax rate, so your income is sitting at this point. It's between 12571 to 50000 So this 30000 would actually be taxed at 20%. So the 20% tax, that's what you'll be looking at. But if you were in Scotland, you would have to use a different tax rate. So that's, you can see here that for Scotland, a £30,000 salary would be taxed at 21%. But I'm going to stick with the England uh, tax rate. Okay, so we're sticking with 20% tax rate here, 20%. And then we also need to find out uh, the national insurance because the two main things that will be deducted from your salary would be tax and national insurance. Most people would fall under um, the category letter A. The most important thing is to note what, the, what your, your rate would be or what your percentage would be. And that is 12%. And that is simply because and again, any amount that is N below or just within the personal allowance, which is what is reflected here, don't get national insurance deducted from that. From here, this is when you have earned above the personal allowance. So anything that's earned above that is taxed at 12% until you go over to this. But for our £30,000 annual salary, which is what we are working with, if you do the math, you find out that you will fall under here. A lot of people actually would fall under this bit. I will explain this one in the end. Okay, so our national insurance, I will just call it NI. So our national insurance is at 12%. Now that we've got this information out of the way, remember we are looking to find out what our monthly take-home would be from this our £30,000 annual salary. So the first thing we need to do is find out what the monthly net income would be. This is before tax. And you simply do that by dividing the net income, you divide it by 12, just to reflect the 12 months of the year. So monthly net is 2,500, okay? And then the next thing we need to find is your yearly taxable income. And we'd get this by subtracting the personal allowance of 12,570 pounds from the net income of 30,000 pounds. So the, the yearly taxable equals 17,430. So once we know the yearly taxable income, again, we're trying to find out the monthly tax that will be deducted from your income. So we need to find out what the monthly taxable income would be. So we'll find that out by dividing this 17,430 by again 12, just to reflect the 12 months of the year. So monthly taxable would be $1,452.5. Okay, so now we know this figure, we just go ahead and deduct both the national insurance and the tax from it. So we we'll multiply the monthly taxable income by 20% to get what the monthly tax would be, 290.5. Then I'll go ahead and do the monthly national insurance. So monthly national insurance, yeah, I'll just say NI, one four five two dot. 5 times 12% and that gives me 174.3 pounds. 
So that means the total deduction from the income would be, if you add the monthly tax plus the national insurance, let's say that would give us £464.08. So this is the total deduction. Some people have pensions and other kinds of expenses deducted from their salary, but basically everyone will get the national insurance and tax deducted from their salary. You can opt out of pension, so it's not mandatory that you would have that deducted from your salary. Now that we know this, all you have to do is go back to your net monthly salary, which we figure we saw up there was £2,500. So if you go up to that, so you just do £2,500 minus the total deduction of 464.8 and that would give you your take home. So that would give you a monthly take home of 2,035 pounds and two pence. Before I round up, I should clear up if some confusions which people have um, regarding the different tax rates. So like I mentioned in the beginning, you can apply this calculation to um, other tax bands and other salaries, but there are a few things you need to bear in mind. When you've got the different tax bands and you've got the 20%, you've got the 21 if you're in Scotland and so on and so forth, if you earn a salary that bumps you up into a different tax band. So if your salary initially uh, put you in the tax rate of 20% and then you got a salary increase which pushed you up to the 40% tax rate or even the 21% tax rate, but basically a salary increase that pushes you up to a different tax rate, it's not all of your salary that will be taxed at a new tax rate. You are only going to be taxed at a new tax rate for whatever you earn above the old tax rate. So say for example, you were earning 50,000 pounds, which is still within the 20% tax band if you're in England. And then you got a salary raise and your salary was bumped up to 60,000 pounds. Now 60,000 pounds falls under the 40% tax rate, which is the next higher tax rate. So because the 20% tax rate stops at 50,270 pounds, you will only be taxed at 40% on the salary that you earn that is above the 50,270 pounds. And that means that the only part of your salary that will be taxed at 40% would be the 9,730 pounds, which is what may put you over the 20% tax rate. And then also something to note about the national insurance. You would have to pay additional 2% on any monthly salary you earn that is above £4,189. So you pay your 12% on the amount you earn up to uh, the £4,189 and then anything that's above that you pay additional 2% on top of that. And finally, the personal allowance goes down by one pound for every two pounds that is earned above a hundred thousand pounds annual salary. And by the time you earn a hundred and twenty-five thousand one hundred and forty pounds, you would have zero personal allowance.